Okay, so in the previous video, we took a look at a technique to cut the sections uh, that are parallel and then offset them inward and uh, make sure they didn't, you know, intersect with the surface. Here, what we'll do is we'll try a different technique um, that may work for some of you a little bit better, and uh, we'll, ex we'll we'll extrude outward, we'll offset outward, and then we'll cut the sections from there, and then we'll rebuild the outer skin using the new um, the new the new structural curves that we have. Okay, so I'm just going to offset this surface, right? So offset surface, um, flip those arrows around, and make sure that it's up at solid. So we have distance one, solid yes, and we flip them. Okay, so let's let that go. So now you can see that we've added some, you know, some thickness to the, to the surface. And you know, I, I should point out that every now and then, when you're offsetting surfaces, some some things like this could occur at the ends, and it's not uncommon that you have to clean that up, maybe chop it down, or you know, come up with a more careful way of de dealing with the end conditions. Uh, in this case, it's not going to be part of the part of my concern at the moment because we're just using this as a kind of a basically a construction surface to arrive at thickened frames. So I'm going to go in the top view and run the section command again okay. and uh, go to my red layer here, select that and just go ahead and you know, hold shift, run this through once again. All right, good. So we can probably get away with hiding this or putting it on another layer where we can turn it off. Um, I'm just going to move it over here and hide it. These should all be joined, so what we can do is just select those and extrude them both sides. All right, both sides is selected. Um, so I, and my distance is correct, at least for I'm just going to hit enter. Now we can type in select last, SEL last, and that will just select the result of the last command. And then um, we can just type in cap, and we'll cap those. So now we have a series of ribs that are in line with our surface. Uh, but now what we need, because we've expanded, remember we expanded from the original surface outward a bit, so we're going to need to rebuild that surface on the outside so that it has some skin. Um, I'm going to go to the blue layer for that and just kind of work with what we have. We've developed basically a new set of edge curves that we can use to do this. And we know that the skin is going to touch at these outer edges on this side, and it'll interact with the outer edges on that side like that. So um, let's just go ahead and duplicate those. So we have them. So dupe edge is the command there, D-U-P edge. And I'm just going to do this in halves. So you can see I'll select that half first. This one, though, we'll have to, a few of them in the middle, we'll actually have to split manually. I'll, I'll do that in just a second. Because you can see that they're continuous, continuous curves all the way around, whereas the outer two here actually start to develop a little bit of a point. And uh, you can see that there. And that's just the way that this surface was modeled earlier by Keith. And you, you may even be finding similar conditions like that, where your sections may not be continuous, and that's completely fine. Okay, so we have these. Um, let's turn this layer off for just a minute here. And I'm going to put a point at the midpoint of these continuous ones, because I'll use that as a way to split them in half. Because I want to model this in halves, so I can do some rebuilding. Uh, so go ahead and type in split. You may not have to do this on yours, I'm just going to demo this. Okay, I'll just get rid of those for now. So that's the half. Now let's take a look at this, these curves. Okay, it looks like we've got quite a bit of control points, uneven distribution. That's to be expected because they were extracted from poly surfaces. All right, so let's turn this layer on. Well, before we do that, let's just give these a rebuild. Um, I guess 20 points would be enough to keep it pretty accurate. There doesn't seem to be much deviation. You can see that here it's about a thousandth of a millimeter, which is extremely small. So go ahead and click OK you'll see that they look like they directly align still. There should be no problem there. And actually, it looks like I may have goofed up one here. See how I got that? That's the wrong That's the wrong profile, so I'm just going to redo that one after I check the others. 
nothing to do. That looks fine. All right. So let's just do this edge really quickly here. There it is. Pardon the repetition here. Okay, and then we'll have to rebuild that like we did with the others. So 20. Okay. Now let's take a look at these, and they should be pretty evenly distributed now amongst each one. So that'll mean that our surface loft will look, I think, pretty good. All right. Let's turn that off for a moment. We have our layer one on. Let's go ahead and loft this, see how it comes out. It looks pretty clean. Good. Let's turn on these on. And let's take a look. Yeah, uh, looks like I may have selected the wrong. So here's a good example, actually, is by mistake. But here I selected the wrong uh, profile of the the structural part. I should have selected that one. Um, as you can see, what's working out well here is that there's no there's no overlap. It's just touching right at that edge, just touching right at the edge, just touching the edge, and just touching the edge. Right. So I made one mistake, which we could fix. Um, pretty quickly. I just want to check the others. Good, and you know, and the surface is actually quite quite nice. It's good, clean, good, good and clean. You actually don't have to sweep this um, because you know we're giving it enough parallel sections for the command to actually do a pretty good job. This could also be rebuilt, of course, to add some. Oops, figure that. So it looks like that's the original twenty in that direction. And we can add 20 in the other direction if we like to give it a little bit more of a gridded appearance. Um, which will, once you do that, it'll, it'll of course misalign with your structural edges. So if you don't want that to happen, um, maybe rebuild, making sure that you're doubling that exactly. That should do it. Well, yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I guess they're still going to misalign. It's a little bit hard actually to, to get that back. Um, but if it doesn't matter, you know, if that's not a seam line, then let's say, for example, this is fabric or something, then, you know, rebuilding it might give you a little bit more to work with in terms of a line drawing. Um, but if you need those, you know, these, these isocurves to directly align with those edges, then uh, you might want to leave it alone. And if you needed to add more in this direction, you could do that manually um, by actually just sectioning it or uh, even inserting knots or something. Um, anyway, let me fix the problem I had here. Delete. Well, I don't have to delete that. I just simply need to move it because it should be the same curve, right? Yeah. Well, I'm just going to re-lock that just so we fix the issue. Good. Done. Cool. All right. So now we have a surface that doesn't intersect at all. Right. And you can do that for both sides, or you can just go ahead. And we should be able to mirror this, assuming that the bottom curve is straight down the middle. And it looks like it is. Now we have a kind of a, you know, the beginning of what could be a viable, you know, model for the cladding um, over the top of these structural ribs without any sort of collisions. Okay. Um, okay. So now in the next step, uh, oh, I should actually just point out, I mean, this does kind of start to introduce how to put in this, these parallel sections in the vertical direction. Um, of course, these are going to need to be connected to something. So when you have structure going in the other direction, uh, another tutorial later will follow up on uh, how to go about doing that. Um, but for now, we'll just kind of focus in on this thickness issue and uh, adding sections you know, to the surface in this way. Um, basically, this is form first sections and ribs. Um, next up, what we'll do is try a different type of process, um, and instead we're going to try uh, to model using similar tools and techniques, but um, non or non-parallel sets of sections. So sections that look more like these isocurves in this direction, the vertical ones, where they don't follow basically the orthogonal, you know, parallel vertical direction. They're actually going to follow the form. So they'll kind of like sweep, you know, 
in an organization at least they'll kind of you know they'll be um, tilted inward you know as they as they frame out the object so uh, we're gonna do that next in the next video